The holidays are over and if your house is like mine, it's cluttered with new presents and just sort of out of sorts from decorating and, well, let's say looks very well lived in. My goal, I guess you could say New Year's resolution, is to declutter each space in our home and to make it as functional as possible. I'm tired of walking down the hallway and remembering I need to rehang the frame that fell down or I need to finally hang that towel rack in the bathroom where three people are sharing one hook. You know what I'm talking about. All those little details that disrupt the eye, but you keep saying you'll get to it later. I'm going to focus on one space for the day, like for the entire day. If I were still going to an office every day, maybe I'd do one space for the week. Just do whatever works for you. There are three rules I'm making for myself this time. One, I will not shove things toward the back of the shelf or closet only to revisit it again in six months. Two, I will create and stick to a schedule that I plan out in advance. No trailing off when I lose motivation this time. Three, I will take these things to be donated at the end of that schedule, at the end of this week for me, and they will not sit in my garage or in my trunk for months. So I suggest starting with the space that's been giving you the most anxiety. It's probably the biggest task and will give you motivation to keep going. For me, that's my bedroom and closet. Here's my plan. On Monday, I took down the remaining holiday decorations and I walked through each room and listed the things that were not functional and what I wanted to do about it. Also, there's no need to spend a lot of money, but make any necessary purchases that will make your space work better for you. For example, I bought a few things like new towels and a different color for each person, a charging station, and a shoe rack. Tuesday. I started with my bedroom and closet. I have been putting these off for a while. I wanted to get all of the bedrooms done today, of course, but I only got to my room and closet. But that's okay, there's no rush and you'll be glad you take the time to get it done right. We don't wanna poke the things back in the corner for the 50th time. If we don't use it, it does not need to occupy our space. In the primary bedroom, I desperately want to declutter this space that is supposed to be my little sanctuary. I'm going to have to take some things out, like this shelf that I love, but I just end up setting things down there and it looks cluttered. The rug doesn't work in here like I had hoped, and the wrapping paper does not need to be here. I'll also tidy up the drawers. I ordered new shams and a lumbar pillow cover that will come later in the week. It's so much better. In the primary closet, my shoes are a problem, so let's start here. I bought a bigger rack and I'll put this smaller one in Clara's room. I'm going to take down this shelf that doesn't really work with the hanging clothes. It's detached from the wall and I end up just putting junk there so that my shoe rack can fit. I'm also gonna take down, I think, these, this tie rack. I think that's a tie rack. There's another tie rack under there. How many ties? Whoa, okay. I want to go through and be realistic about what shoes I'll wear, and I had put flats in a drawer. This bag is broken, and so I never use it because it's broken, so I don't need to keep that. This is cute, but I never use it, so I'll give that to someone who will. Still use this, uh, so I'll keep that. This I don't use. I don't use this, but I really like it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this. Next, I'm going through each of my clothes. Would I buy it again? When is the last time I wore it? Can you imagine walking into your closet and loving everything in it? Most of us see an article of clothing through the lenses of, when I lose 10 pounds, I'll wear it. When I take that trip to Aspen, when I find the right top, I'm over it. If I don't wanna wear it tomorrow, what's the point? If it doesn't fit, what's the point? Also, the excuses, are someone gave it to you 10 years ago, or it was expensive 15 years ago. Those don't count either. I was going to do the kids' rooms and closets today, but I'm gonna do bathrooms instead because we got new toilets installed in the kids' bathrooms. I'm at the point in my life where this is very exciting. The old ones were over 30 years old, small, the lids were falling off. The sad truth is that we have three bathrooms, but only one has a working shower. I hear dripping behind the shower in our bathroom and I just know that wall needs to be opened up to fix it, so it's off limits. So we all share this one and it has one hook. On top of that, the towel situation is ridiculous. They use beach towels most of the time. The boys decided the gray towels were for feet, 
because they ruined the bath mat. Marcello said he's aware of the towel situation, but I'm wondering if he accidentally uses the bath mat on occasion sometimes. Okay, that was too detailed, but the point is I'm going to solve this with color assigned towels and a washable bath mat. I'm also putting up a rack with multiple hooks and how cute is this animal rack? I love adding in unexpected things with a little personality. We'll probably have to have a family meeting to discuss these huge changes. Speaking of details, I have a couple of these little mouse decals in our house. Aren't they cute? So I'm taking down the old hook and I had used a self-drilling anchor and this is why I love them so much. Instead of those plastic inserts, they just unscrew and then you could even use it again. Here's an easy way to hang a rack. I put a piece of painter's tape and then marked it where the holes go. And then I can just take this off put it about where I want it to go. Looks pretty good. I'm, I'm out of spackle. I'll have to get some spackle and fill that in. Um, I'm gonna use the same one that I took out of the wall. And the screws just go in as well. I also wanted to add a bulletin board of some kind to pin things like verses or funny memes, you know, for their time in the office. We try to memorize one verse a week. I created these images, one per week for the year, so there's 52 and I will link those below. I'm making sure they have cleaning supplies because they are now in charge of cleaning their own bathrooms. Wednesday is my laundry day. I do the loads for the kids and then they have to put them away. Moving on to Clara's bathroom. It's looking pretty good in here. I'm just gonna add a standing towel rack because guests use this bathroom and the hand towel is usually wadded up on the counter. So I'll also check that she has cleaning supplies and refill her soap. I use Dr. Bronner's water and essential oil in this foaming dispenser. The bathroom isn't all that interesting. I cleaned it out not too long ago. I went through my products, so it's looking pretty good in here. I'm just gonna try to streamline the counter a little bit. One day we'll talk about all these beauty devices that I'm trying and if they work. And I'm gonna tidy up over here as well. It's always the battle with cords and styling tools, isn't it? So I'm washing my towels right now, but I have lots of washcloths. I use gray so that my makeup won't stain them. And I try to have a toilet brush in each bathroom for easy cleaning. Under here, I just wrap them all up and put them in a basket. I don't have a better solution for right now. Marcello keeps his stuff in the boys' bathroom. So we're talking more about organizing than cleaning in this video, but I just wanted to show you a cleaning hack. A lot of toilets these days come with a removable lid. So you can actually take it off to clean and then it snaps back on. One more word about toilets and then this is it, I promise. I chose a skirted model. This is called a skirted toilet. So it doesn't have those knobs in the background that fall off and you can just wipe it down easily. I have these picture frames with these great pictures of the kids in there, but somehow the kids keep flailing their body and knocking them down. So I wanna hang them so that they're a little bit more sturdy. I'm also gonna sit down and order photos to go in this one, which I've been also meaning to do for a while. It's all these little things that add up. recently did the boys room I did a video on that and they've pretty much kept up with it so they got gaming chairs for Christmas I'm not gonna do much in here I'm just gonna go through the stuff that's poked up here that doesn't need to be there and take out the things that don't fit so not a whole lot in here And then 
talk really briefly about clothing organization with three kids. So the boys share this dresser and it goes something like pajamas, socks, underwear, shirts, shorts. And the other kid goes on the other side. So that's how they divvy that up. They each have their own hamper and I wash them just one at a time, clearly labeled here. So, and then it's the same thing in this dresser, that's for school uniforms. So it's um, pants because they don't usually wear pants very often because we're in Florida. I can't remember what's in there. And then uniform shirts and uniform pants, same on the other side. And then yet another one, this is soccer clothes, soccer gear, and each kid has a drawer. So that's how that works in here. I'm always looking for a way to help this girl straighten her room. She just has a lot of stuff. And you know what? I had a lot of stuff when I was a little girl too, so it's okay. But I am gonna do, I am gonna hang a rack, something for her robes and her bags and things. She had a rack back here, but it fell down. And I'm gonna put that shoe rack that was from my closet in here. I moved the Barbie house out of here and I'm gonna straighten up there. And I think she might need some beddies like the boys that just zip up to make the bed because it always looks like this. It took about 45 minutes. It looks so much better in here. Just decluttered a little bit. I'm really happy with the way the closet looks now. It makes more sense. She has a rack here now. Mansinga. That robot was Marcello's when he was a kid and it is everywhere. I, <laughs> I don't know how, but it's always everywhere. It's always been Clara's favorite weird little thing. Anyway, it's looking good in here. This tiny little closet, oh, it just always is so painful. So I think there's roller skates that don't fit anymore down there, boots swimsuits, towels, sun, I don't even, soccer stuff. I gotta go through that. And our little towel meeting last night didn't go very well because here's a towel. I'm like, how do I tell them we're not using beach towels anymore? Because what my son does to do his hair in the morning, he dunks his head in the pool and then just dries it with a towel out here. And that's how he gets ready for school. Okay. It's better. These are all from the dollar store, by the way, from the Dollar Tree, these little bins, and they're really handy to have. I think this looks worse than it is because everybody just shoves used paper in there. So I'm gonna take 15 minutes and clean this out. Okay, that wasn't too bad. In the cabinets next to the crafting stuff is a bunch of home decor and a bunch more. And I do not need all this stuff. So while I'm making a trip to the thrift store, I need to take out some of these things to donate. All right, I'm not sure if you can tell much difference, but I can. A um, little more organized. Things are with like items. So that's that, and these are the things that I'm donating. Okay, all loaded up, ready to head to the thrift store to donate these things and return my Amazon packages. So I thought I'd just show you what the inside of the cabinets look like. I'm not gonna do the kitchen today. I did this about a year ago and really decluttered and narrowed it down to what we actually use. So if you have less things, I need to empty the dishwasher. If you have less things, then it's easier to organize them. And here's this side. We have glasses, utensils, and pots and pans. This is kind of the snack pantry and then more just ingredients. And one thing I've been doing for a few months that is really working nicely is making this the snack drawer. I just went to the grocery, so I'm gonna have to wash the fruit and get it ready to eat. So left on my to-do list for the week is to sort of straighten this pegboard up. And I love having the kids art in here, but I end up just taping it to the wall. So I have some inexpensive frames that I'd like to put them in like to organize this crazy drawer, add this charger. Um, these are for the, these came yesterday for the primary bedroom. And then these drawers are messy. So that's what I'm hoping to get done today. I'm not gonna lie, I would rather sit down, have a sparkling tangerine water and eat barbecue potato chips and watch TV. But I'm gonna finish today. 
The biggest takeaway I got from doing all this was the more frequent I go through and declutter the house and do my best to make it functional for our family, the easier it is. The more often I do it, the less I end up buying and the more streamlined we become. The thing that helped the most during this little challenge was making a list of items to do in each room and then creating a schedule to do them. little space is looking much tidier. Did a little straightening here. These up here are just containers. My organizing systems always change, so I just have extra baskets and things up here. And then on this side, and I've got the artwork hung up. Look at this one. <laughs> the cats are flying around in the car. King Adri and this bug I always loved along with this bird. Okay, I'll stop showing you my kids' artwork. Sheets are washed. I put the new pillow shams on the bed that we desperately needed. Ours were not looking so great. So really getting down to all those details finally. Last task of the week, I'm in the office. Cords and charging are always an issue at our house. So I bought this um, charger for two phones that doesn't have cords. Even this basic level of organizing the house has freed up my mind. It's incredible the impact your surroundings have on your mentality and your thought process. I am genuinely more joyful and productive in an organized space. Okay, I'm so excited. Looks good in here. Everything's more organized. So if you're looking for some printables, I have this one week to a clean house printable. It's not quite as in depth as what I've done this week. I also have this planner, this organizing planner on my Etsy shop. We take a little quiz to see where you're at. I have organizing solution and ideas and I take you through each room and area by area. So you can check those out if you're interested. Well, that's it from me this week. I am finished with this challenge. Of course, there's always more to do. I don't even want to talk about my garage, but I felt like I got a lot accomplished and I hope that maybe I inspired you in some way. I'll see you next time.